Welcome to the Perfectly Clear Lightroom plugin training video. In this video, we will show you the two ways that you can use Perfectly Clear with Lightroom and will also provide an overview of the plugin interface. So let's get started. First, select the images that you would like to Perfectly Clear. Next, go to Photo, Edit In, and choose Perfectly Clear. You can also right click and perform the same steps. Note that if Perfectly Clear does not appear, then you simply need to link our plugin to Lightroom. To do this, go to Preferences, External Editing tab, and under Additional External Editor, select Perfectly Clear. If Perfectly Clear does not appear in the drop down list, then you need to navigate to the file path and select it. Please turn to page 10 of our user manual, which can be downloaded from the support section of our website to read the simple steps to do this. Lightroom presents you with three options. If you are loading a raw photo, then you can only select Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. This option will create a copy of your photo, including any adjustments that you have already done in Lightroom. Edit a copy will create a photo of the original and apply perfectly clear. Any edits that you may have done in Lightroom will not be applied. Lastly, if you are working on a JPEG or TIFF, you can select Edit Original to overwrite the original with the corrections. In this example, we'll select Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. In the upper left, you will see Lightroom preparing the photos for processing. Then, the perfectly clear plugin window will appear with the correction automatically applied. To view the original, simply mouse click and hold. You can fine tune the correction or simply advance to the next photo by pressing the next button or the last photo by pressing the last button. When you are finished editing, press the save all button and your changes will be applied to the full resolution photo in Lightroom. You will see them next to your original photo. It's really that fast and simple. One quick tip. To quickly and easily find your perfectly clear photos, go to Library, Find, and type in Edit because Lightroom appends this to the file name in the Filter section, and your perfectly clear photos will appear. Let's look closer at the perfectly clear plugin window. Please note that we will not go over each correction and what it does in this training video. For more information, we recommend that you watch the How to Fine Tune Your Photos video. To resize the plugin window, click the lower right side and drag. The upper portion of the plugin shows the three ways that you can view your photos. The default is the single image view. Simply mouse click and hold to toggle between the before and the after. The second button will show a before and after side by side. You can also view the original on top with the corrected photo on the bottom. To zoom, Simply move the zoom slider bar to the right or press and hold Control plus or minus on Windows or Command plus or minus if you're using a Mac. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can also use this. Once zoomed in, you can move the preview photo around by clicking and holding. Alternatively, you can go to the navigator section and move the red square or simply click anywhere in the navigator section. As shown earlier, simply press the next button to advance to the next photo. All of your current image adjustments will be saved. Or press the last button to go all the way to your last loaded photo. You'll notice how the plugin shows you how many photos you have loaded and the name of the photo currently being viewed. Now let's look at the correction panel. Perfectly Clear comes with six predefined presets. To learn more about each preset, simply hover the mouse above. When you select a different preset, your preview photo in the plugin will automatically be updated. You can also create your own custom presets. Let's say, for example, that you want noise removal turned on and more sharpening. Then simply press the New button enter the name and a description for your preset and press OK. 
If at a later time you would like to update your custom preset, for example, turn Auto Red Eye off, then simply make the adjustment and press Update. Your changes have been saved. If you want to delete that preset, then press the Delete button. Now let's look at the various perfectly clear corrections. Each one is grouped in one of five categories. To enable a correction, simply ensure the radio button is selected. To turn off, simply deselect. And to tweak a correction, simply move the slider bar either to the left or right, or type in a number in the box and press Enter. In addition to being located online, you can launch our help manual from the bottom left by pressing the Help button and press the Watch Tutorials button to take you directly to this video. Now let's discuss the second way that you can use Perfectly Clear in Lightroom. Let's say you just came back from your shoot and you have 300 photos you would like to automatically batch process with Perfectly Clear. No problem! Simply select your photos and then press Export. Select Athentech Perfectly Clear. Note that if Perfectly Clear does not appear in the drop-down list, then you need to add it via the Plugin Manager. Click Plugin Manager, then select the Athentech Perfectly Clear plugin and Enable. If it doesn't appear in the Plugin Manager, then you will need to navigate to the File Path and select. Please see page 11 of our manual on how to do this. Next, choose your preset. For this example, we will be using the default preset. Note that the description is displayed for your convenience. If you want to view and fine-tune each photo before exporting, then deselect the Hide Perfectly Clear window. In our case, we want to automatically batch process all images without reviewing them, so we keep this option selected. Next, choose the location to export to. For this example, we're going to use the same folder, but create a subfolder called Perfectly Clear Export. If you would like to rename your photo, you can easily do this. For this example, we will not. Next, choose the format and color space that you would like to use. We'll select JPEG and sRGB. Now, simply press Export. The status of your export will appear in the upper left, and that's all there is to it. We hope that you found this learning video helpful. Thank you for watching.